Killing Floor short video game review. There's essentially no plot here, so I will cut to the chase. You are, you know, six player co op survival horror first person shooter and fiercely like metal of a game. And yeah, you are killing zombies by the hundreds and you know, using flamethrowers, grenade launchers, guns that have an alternate fire that can heal your partners and yeah. It's essentially a series of team deathmatch waves, team deathmatch sessions where the AI controls one side and that side is made up purely of zombies. And yeah, if that appeals to you, then definitely. It's it's very much a the, the offspring of games like Doom. And there's a, a very clear, like, they, they really wanted to put out a game like this. And they did everything they could to make it just really fit this specific kind of, you know, this, this exact feel. The enemy design is a bit bland and the gameplay does end up fairly generic. Really the the most the most fun you'll have in this is trying out the different, you know, kind of mods, yeah, and when you're playing on the especially high difficulty settings and you're playing with an especially good team and in spite of how difficult it is, you do win. You know, that is really what this is all about. And everything kind of leading up to that, you know, the, the perk system does really require grinding. There's no way around it. The, the, I'm not passing judgment either way, but if that is something, you can actually, there, there are a few levels made specifically to avoid you having to grind where you know or rather letting you grind without playing the rest of the game and so so yeah if if that is the situation then you can do that but yeah and do note when downloading mods and such there's apparently a 50 subscription limit and i personally you know when I find that found out about that, I had already downloaded a ton of maps, and I wasn't able to remove the ones I had downloaded to make room for others. So I ended up only being able to play around 92 of the apparently 855 maps in this, and I never got around to playing the the actual mods and such because I intended to play the maps first. So just be aware of that. It is a great co-op experience, and the the features are really very carefully set to yeah f facilitate and reward co-op, and it is a game that you know you might look at it and say, well, what what does this have that say Left for Dead? or Dead Island doesn't and it is very much this yeah just just feel of a series of team death matches and a kind of this the the RPG elements in this are fairly light and it is yeah it is primarily for gunning down hundreds of zombies you know with with five other players and the perks system allows you know you they they cover the various tactics fairly well and yeah the, the you know all six can do very different things to to help out it's you know you you get to play it in a much more different way than you do in you know, Left for Dead, and 
to an extent also Dead Island. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, the link is in the description box.